It's showtime! Showtime! Hi guys. Um, welcome to interview number five with the lovely Urban Tango! Yeah! How are you, Urban? I am great. He just came back from Europe, so he hasn't been dancing for a while. So it's, been, it's nice to have him back. And yeah, let's get into the questions. Let's, let's do it. All right. So, yeah. When did you start dancing? I started dancing in January 2008. That is very precise. Yes. And what was your first like dance style? Dance style? Ooh. It was b-boy, but I mean, I got to really like cutting choreography, which is awesome. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Where do you get inspiration from with your classes, with your choreography? Well, since I've been dancing for so long, I try to get inspired by like daily activities, like even like moving a chair, or like <laughs> I'm running, or like reading a book, or being in the computer. It's just like, I try to be creative by not trying so hard to make cool moves. Does that make sense? Yeah. I know there's a bunch of fundamental moves where obviously, fundamentals from like old school, house, whatever. But from my choreography, I do include that stuff as well, but I try to make it out of normal life activity. And I try to just twist it a little bit. Like if I trip, oh, I can use that as a cool move, you know? Or like drinking something. I don't know, and twist it into like something else. I don't know. <laughs> Like, there's so much- That's kind of cool. Yeah, and I feel like not a lot of people do that, but you can actually grab so many moves by just living. And like, even just going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> or, well, what's a good one? I, I think one of the best ones is sports. In sports, you're required to move a lot of like volleyball, basketball, like footwork from basketball, because I just love playing basketball. I just take martial arts angles, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have those angles and stuff. Okay. But yeah, and that's pretty much how I kind of put my choreography together. I just twisted it. What kind of advice would you give um, to a beginner dancer taking your class? Because I know your class is really hard and people struggle with it. And it's definitely very, it's one of the uncomfortable kind of classes here in Vancouver. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I definitely encourage people that really want to take my class to understand that my class is like more on the advanced side that I do beginners, but it's very, it's like a difficult kind of beginners because I really love pushing people. And I already know that there's teachers out there that are really motivational, and that has dancing, that, you know, feel good and big movements, easy to pick up. I wanted mine to be different and I want mine to be challenging in its own way. But yeah, the biggest advice is if you want to take my class is to expect Expect that it's gonna be challenging and have the mentality to be challenged. Because for people that doesn't like challenge, they might feel more discouraged when they take my class. But I like talking a lot and just to, you know, fuel their their drive. Um, Cause it's 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 confusing and it's frustrating if you get if you get like jumbled up with the choreography and the footwork, but it's also very rewarding, I feel that if you get the choreography and you get it, let's say I teach like eight eight counts and you didn't mess up the eight eight counts, it's like they can feel really great about it after because they did something that's challenging and they kind of, you know, overcome that challenge. And so, yeah, confidence is a key and keep believing in yourself as a dancer if you want to take my class because I'm gonna challenge you, so, yeah. Yeah, I always try to, I always try to walk in with like a very like, focused mindset and just know that if it might, I might not get it, then it's totally fine. Like, just have fun. Yes, and I think that's really, uh, that's the most important part too, is that despite the challenge, there should always be the fun part. And there should always be the fun in the challenge. That's why you go to Douglas. Exactly, because it's like, it's, it's, Douglas is a place where I can really balance the challenging and the fun, you know? Mm -hmm. and. And it's rare that I can do that because with Unity, it's I do 
competition pieces. So everything needs to be so hard, super different. It takes so much effort, you know, to make pieces. But for classes like in Douglas, it gives me a different focus with how I want the class to be. So. Cool. Describe your dance style. Oh, that's a hard one. Um, my dance style consists a lot of footwork. It's really, really hard. Basically. Yeah. I really like weird angles and awkward movement just because I guess that's how I feel at the moment of making the choreography. Footwork is definitely a big thing for me. I love doing different patterns of footwork and weird movement and difficult footwork, if I may say. And it's just, yeah, I love the musicality that I could do um, with my, my legs. So, <laughs> yeah! I know you've been dancing for a while, but like what inspires you to keep keep going and keep oh, dance as a career? Uh, definitely our team, Unity Dance Company. They're really, every single person in that team really drives me to continue doing what I love. Back in the day, I used to dance because I wanted to, you know, be like a well-known dance superstar, dancing everywhere and stuff, but after a while, you kind of transition from having that goal and now I just want to provide for my kid or my students because it means so much to me having people to believe in my work and to believe in what I believe in. So just watch them grow and watch them grow from the beginning. It's so amazing and I just want to keep that up and right now I just want my students or our students to be successful way more than the stuff that I've accomplished myself. So that's how I, I keep myself inspired. I pray about my dancing to, you know, to to keep it going. I know it's very difficult to keep dance as a career, but I just push myself to be inspired. And I try to pray so that I keep myself intact with what I love to do. Where do you see our team in five years? Ooh, oh, I see, I see our team in five years everywhere. Pretty much, I want to really balance the competition side of dancing and I want to balance the industry as well. We're doing a lot of uh, partnership with Wildebeest just so that we can have a taste of what it's like being in the industry in LA. We're also doing competitions to keep ourselves, you know, pushing and keep ourselves balanced in both worlds and just have a feel and so that in the future, for whoever wants to take dance as a career, Unity Dance Company can be an outlet for people who want to find jobs or to teach a dance for fun or to do competition. So, yeah. Cool. What are your favorite kind of classes to take? Ooh. Um, my favorite is probably the hardest classes. You like the challenge? Yeah, I love the challenge. I love feeling frustrated. <laughs> I know that's like a weird want. <laughs> but one of the examples that I can make was build a experience in LA. A lot of, you know, LA choreographers, a lot of femme or ratchet style, you say. <laughs> and something that I'm actually not comfortable with, but I love doing it. Because sometimes I can do it my own way, but sometimes I can do it the actual way, which it really pushes me and it makes me learn so much more than what I already know. And that's why I love challenging classes because I'm all about that challenge and I'm all about like um, upgrading myself and what I do. Cool! Well, <laughs> those are all the dance questions I'm gonna ask you. Let's get to fun stuff. Are you ready? No. This is a quick, this is like a quick answer. Okay. Facebook or Instagram? Facebook. Summer, winter, spring or fall? Fall. Really? Why? Because. It's like rains all the time. Uh, actually, it's all fall. I know it's fall. Fall. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. Fall. Okay. If you could eat one thing for a year, what would it Sushi. be? Sushi. Oh, wow. Didn't even let me finish the question. That's the one. What's your favorite animal and why? Cow. Because <laughs> cow are so chill. Like, they don't get stressed out. Yeah, they do. I mean, if they're gonna get butchered, they get stressed out. But... Oh my god. But they're so chill, they just literally eat grass all day. Kinda like me, but I'm a hoe. Would you rather have hiccups for the rest of your life 
or have to sneeze but can't for the rest of your life? Um, uh, sneeze but can't. Oh, that'd be so annoying. <laughs> Would you rather be a famous singer or a famous actor? Ooh, singer, because I know I can dance with it. Would you rather have an extra finger or a missing toe? <laughs> <laughs> an extra finger. Dancing. If I weren't dancing, I would go full time in running a business or being a businessman. Because right now, on the other side of my life, I'm trying to start a business, which I'm I'm super passionate about just creating things. So I really see myself as a person that can lead creativity and just have a business or a product or a lifestyle that focuses more on the other arts as well. Because I'm not I'm not much of like a like how do you say it? like educational or or school person or I don't know how to say this like I'm not much of a math academic academics <laughs> I help him a lot I'm just yeah <laughs> but yes, yeah I'm not much of an academic person so I really like making my own stuff um, which which I see myself in the next years to slowly transition from dance into full business. You know what I wish I would was if I wasn't like dance. Well, I don't dance. I try, I don't, I'm not planning to pursue it as like a professional right. career, but I would be a YouTube lifestyle vlogger. Like make a lot of money. Yeah, like like Zoella or like I don't know, I just get Makeup some like, and then like, like this. Yeah, yeah, I would be so, so good at it. I would be like, okay, you know, um, so this foundation is from, you know, Shop is Drug Mart, and I go like this. Focuses, like, you know? Focus, yeah, I would do that. And like, that would be my, that's my dream, is to have enough time and money to buy a lot just of stuff it. and just vlog. And like, just vlog My it. whole life, because I think I'm pretty interesting. Subscribe to Lisa's channel. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Actually, you know, I, Outside of dancing, I'd probably do want to be a basketball player, but then I'm really short, so <laughs> yeah. I, after grade ten, I stopped and I started. You're dancing. kind of good. You're kind of good. I mean, I shoot better than I'm, you. I'm pretty. I'm pretty good, but I'm just short. <laughs> and like, you know, I wish I was white or black, so I could be like super tall. But that's too bad. That's okay. You can't win them all, <laughs> Mister. <laughs> Okay, last question. Okay. What were you in your past life? A cow. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just because that's your favorite animal. You think that you were a cow before? I think, because I'm super chill. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, Irvin. Thank you so much for having me. It was awesome. I love the vibe in Douglas. And I love the vibe from this interview <laughs> from my girlfriend. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching and um, tune in every week for DHHC interviews with this table. Okay, bye. <laughs>